Hey everybody, Asher here back with more Convoy as we have Rock Bucket and the Convoy of Doom. Big Cat 3, Madstone, Scar C3, and Small Worm. We're off the live stream. We're back to just regular old recording. Let me actually move the microphone a little bit closer to see if that'll actually help. So, for those of you who may have missed the live stream, I didn't post the summation video beforehand, but what you really need to know is that big gun on my uh, MCV is exactly what it looks like. Something that will tear up faces. So as we open up the map here, you can see that we are at a store. We have just gotten some repairs and we have the self-sealing stem bolts. We can bring that cargo to the ship, so we should probably do that pretty soon. There's also sonic screws. You've managed to acquire the location of the Tovox st screw storing facility. That's a little further to the west. Then we have the multicellulose infused ethanol. You've been told the location of a local chemist running an underground laboratory to seek him out. He's further to the northwest. Note that we are in very scary thick dark green strong area right now for all of this and then we have the flux capacitor you've successfully acquired an energy pylon from the Torvok facility and we need to take that back to the professor so I think probably the most prudent thing to do first is to go back and get the flux capacitor stuff as well and then we'll return to the spaceship mercury so let's go ahead and start there so we've caught up here like I said we'll be going over some combat a little bit more but I have such good stuff right now and I have a lot of fuel so let's see what's here Signal appears to be coming from a lone privateer vehicle, and let's see if we can chase it. You chase after it, and it turns out led you right into an ambush. So we took some damage. At least we are close to a place where we can repair. So look at all these look at all these enemies that are here now. So you'll notice my vehicles do have a lot of range. So that's a good start. So let's go ahead and just see what we can try and take out here. Now I'm going to move up here because what I'm going to try and do is fire my big old laser on this vehicle over here. So let's start by seeing if we can actually EMP. Not, well, not just EMP, but we got to we gotta get our lasers in range. Okay, they actually EMP my vehicle. That's not great, but railgun down there is absolutely obliterating stuff. Alright. So that's dead. Let's go ahead and move this up here. Let's move you up here. Let's move you back a little bit. So we'll get our big old laser in just a second. Here we go. Let's do let's do this. Let's see since the laser's already pointed right there, you're dead. You're about to die. Let's target you instead and target you will keep in line of sight here. EMP your shields down again. You can probably stun this guy a little bit too, so. And you actually have no target. Well, who has no target? Mad Stone has no target. Let's fix that. Alright, so these, and this is how things just die so quickly here. I love how everything just kind of melts in the face. Alright, so you actually got EMP. That's not great. Let's see, this is a, a big change from how these games used to have for me, as we have actually some danger up ahead. So we may be able to take care of that in a hurry. Let's get you in there. Good. It's like, I would hate to just start off this video by killing one of my people right away, so you're actually stunned. Which is fantastic. I don't think you'll be stunned long enough to actually be caught in the crossfire, but there we go. Actually died before we got to the rocks anyway. Alright, so take the loot. Now if we open the map here, it may be safer for me just to go back and repair real quick. Because the longer your games go, the more dangerous things get. And I'm at a point where let's see anything else. MCV needs a little bit of repairs. Otherwise we're good. I don't think the shop has anything else worth my time. I mean, I could get the Pink Ranger, but we don't have the money for it anyway. Alright. I would have actually been fine except for the uh, landmine explosion to start off that fight. So as you're driving along the highway, pick a signal on your transmitter. Rowdy privateers pursue and see what they're trying to do. Track down the privateers and engage them. And are you ready for me? Come on, prepare to fight. Cool, so we gotta get these fights sometimes. I hate the little minefield fights, but... 
Oh no, this is gonna this is actually gonna work really well. Alright. Because all we've gotta do here is a big old laser over here. Alright, so let's see if we can knock you guys out. Look at how fast that's just melting. Of course I got EMP to mid shot, so that's one way that gets countered. Actually, he runs in the mines, and he's just gone. Alright. So look at how much those railguns are actually taking shit out right there. That's good. So we actually made him run into the missile, and who else has no target? You have no targets, and you have no target. And I could probably ram you. Maybe not the best idea because he's about to die anyway, but look at that. Just the laser comes back online. It's nice. I wasn't sure if that would happen with the stun, but while well, it's a little annoying that the enemies are starting to get the same stunning capabilities I have, I understand. Where it's coming from? Who else has no target? You have no target. We'll fix that. There we go. Just They keep trying to stun. I'm just glad, like I said, that the laser still gets to fire. So, you have find a remarkable number of clocks. Too bad we can't take the clocks. So see, I'm taking so little damage compared to how I had been in runs past. There's actually another camp here, let's see. I don't remember if I've been to this camp. Might as well put in a brief repair for this. Okay, so purple sky, nothing else really too new here. Okay. We're just gonna stick to the roads. Said everything's just getting a bit tougher here, and maybe all these hexes are just gonna be just big now. Alright, you hear a voice bell on your radio. We're gonna cut your open your heads and eat your brains. Yeah, I'd love to see you try. Heard brains are really good this season. Oh wow. Hello you. Well, I know who we're firing on up here. Actually, you know, we're gonna actually fire that laser right there. You actually don't have a target yet, and you don't have a target. So let's get you down here. Get you down here. I don't think we're gonna dodge it in time. All right. So a little bit of LOS issues, but that's good. Yeah, that's right. You move right into the laser fire. That's exactly what we want. What else needs to be in? You need to be Because these guys are just going to die. Those two railguns are just hilarious right there. And another thing that uh, the live stream was really helpful with for me was that uh, I was taking a lot of damage just from vehicles that would like run into me after I killed them. So I was doing pretty good about positioning myself a little better to not be in danger. Okay, so railgun death. And look, we're going to scoop out their heads and eat their brains now. That sounds about right. Oh well. We got a straggler. That's really too bad because you are just gonna be zapped right there. In fact, will he die before uh, he gets to escape? Yeah. Double stun. Never easier. Alright, so there's our flux capacitor mountain escape, and we have another place where we can rest up right by here. Approach the laboratory. We've got the energy pylon and a great, wonderful, high, amazing functional Torvok energy pylon. I've wanted my get my hands on it. Yes, yes, I'll get your flux capacitor in just a moment. And he takes and he tinkers with it. Got it all working, ready for you to take back to your spaceship. The energy pylon has some energy left, but don't worry about it. I'll find some use for it. He he he. He appears to have a slight maniacal grin on his face. He thanked the professor and say goodbye before loading the flux capacitor onto your convoy. So we have two of two. That means the only place we need to go right now is Mercury, which means we need to get some brief repairs in. Yeah, I've noticed this area has gotten a lot more dangerous than the last I checked. I think the game's trying to catch up to or ramp up to my difficulty here. I don't really need to repair just yet. We don't have a lot. We don't have a lot to buy. If we want to look at the loadout for my vehicles real quick here, heavy pulse laser and a shield MK3. I'd love to get more shields. Heavy MG and a shield MK1. 
And then this guy just has two heavy rail guns. So I could probably use to do some upgrades here. Then an auto cannon and a heavy rocket artillery. So let's go ahead and just upgrade real quick. We want definitely more armor. Well, we want mine guard for maybe three, but I think armor is a little bit more important for you. What do we want here? We have good armor, we have good range. Let's get handling for you. Handling's not the highest priority upgrade, but I think it's time. All right, this is probably the one um, little ship that could use a better weapon or the most replaceable one here. So you have max range. Let's get a little more handling for you, a little more armor. And then yeah, just I really underestimated the uh, amount of good upgrades can actually do in this game. But they do a world of good, so let's go, yeah, we need the armor upgrade. Good, and we'll float about 30 scrap. So see, just like that, we're getting even stronger. And we can't afford much more upgrades other than another mine guard, which will probably be good to get next. So let's see here, are we breaking the scales? We got the spaceship Mercury going this way, and we're getting out of the danger zone. Big red barrel, let's drive around it onwards. I'm sure that could have ended very badly. So yeah, there's not a lot of in-between in this part of the map now. It's actually, yeah, this was not covered in heavy stuff as far as I remember at the very beginning. Oh, crate delivered. Two crates delivered. So if we look at the uh, main objective, self-stealing stem bolts and everything else. Do we need to do anything else with the Mercury right now? I think since we have five scrap, we might as well do a Tiny bit of repairs. Mm, do we need fuel? We have 73 fuel. I don't want to. I don't want to bankrupt myself here, and then have a random event require me to buy something. So there's plenty of camps over in these directions. The only part of the map that I really didn't explore on the live stream very much was the northwest side. Unfortunately, we have uh, two things that'll let me do it, or let me go over there and say hello. So. Here we go, you, right, you see a car with a side of white flag hanging out, let's investigate, and it has bullets and scorch marks. And when a bullet pings at your car, you hear two uh, horrendous accents, so then it will kill everyone, let's reason with them. The person get out of the convoy, walk towards where shots came from, several more shots land as you keep walking. Once you're within 30 yards, two men stand up from behind some rocks, one is short and the other is taller. Both seem to be around 50 and wearing very poorly made suits, the men are very confused that you are not Philip, they whisper and argue between them. Let's wait it out. Finally, the would-be assassins ask you where Philip Davis is. You prepare to respond that you don't know uh, what another convoy passes. The assassins believe that you are trying to distract them, and they are, start shooting at the you, the other convoy. Let's shoot them. And before they have a chance to react, you shoot both of them one beat in the face. Upon inspection of their bodies, they don't seem to have anything of value. Their arms are crude. Oh well. That's too bad. So yeah, the world gets procedurally more dangerous as we go around here, and we have some more random events. That we'll probably need to pop and trigger just for potential goodies. So let's see what we got here. The radio signal turns out to be a distress call. Head towards the fight. And you soon spot the skirmish. It turns out most of the caravan has already been destroyed, but if you remain a uh, few while remaining vehicles are busy fighting the privateers. Let's engage. Let's see if we can go for the maximum reward here. We have this we have the uh, guns to fight this. Oh, you guys made a mistake. You going? Let's go ahead and get you going. Where are you going? You're going over here. Let's get you back. And I'll put you over here. So see, look at that. Two rail guns just knocked that guy's health down in half. Awesome. Let's move you back a little bit. Move you up out of the way of this debris. So see, look just like that. Let's see. We want to take down your shields in a minute. We're gonna have to move this laser over this way. Okay. Rockets. Okay, still good. Look at just that. Is the armor just melts away? It's hilarious. Just absolutely hilarious to me. All right. So let's 
go ahead and target you, target you. Focus fire that. And... Wow, you actually didn't die. That's not good. Well, you're dead now. And we gotta watch out for another landmine. Now this guy's gonna line us sight each other, so we gotta be mindful of that. Right, so we got the... Oh my god, just... Oh my god. Big cat with the big guns. That's hilarious. Alright. So one EMP. It sucks to be right about now, doesn't it? Oh crap, they got their shields back. Not for long. Yeah, that is just way too much damage. And that's how you uh, clean and sweep. Alright, you defeat the final privateer. Let's radio him and... We get 121 way of saying thanks. Great. It's all very good. So let's see here, multicellulose. Are we closer to that or the sonic screws? We're closer to the sonic screws. We'll just stick to the roads here since we're down to 53 fuel. Okay, so Torva Convoy is patrolling the highway. Probability of mission of hindrance 0%. I don't know if you're talking about our mission or your mission. I don't like you being caught so tight right here. It's actually a little more of a threat right there. Okay, so you guys are trying to run into each other. Let's see if I can line up a good shot here. Yeah, I think I can. Okay, so once again, these guys just come packing the EMPs. So we'll have to be mindful of that. Okay, so there's our big laser, which unfortunately I think I got hit just a little bit. We'll see if we can aim this right here. Because it is like a good old beam weapon. There we go. You get hit down there, this guy's just about dead. Just go ahead and kill you. Okay, let's move you down just to be safe. Move you up here. Move you over here. There we go. Let's get you out of the way. Okay, so one last little ion rocket right there, and that'll do it. We got a light pulse laser. And the Torvok transport vehicle is the last one standing. Let's investigate the content, and it explodes. Luckily, luckily nothing got hurt. Yeah, there's a lot of booby traps in this game. It's a little frustrating. Where's the nearest camp? Nearest camp is to the northeast. I think I've been there. Alright, because I just wonder... It may be more prudent for me just to heal up real quick. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be getting another mini-boss here before too long. Plus, it looks like I need some fuel. But yeah, it's funny. As I get stronger, everyone else gets stronger. Privateers on the horizon. Let's let's fight. Gotta watch my uh, MCV's strength anyway. So that's pretty interesting. I was wondering just a little bit how it was gonna work out for uh, my vehicle just being so strong. Right, so you're gonna be able to solve that. Mad Stone has no targets. Now it does. Let's not move you over here. I repeat, let's not move you. Okay. Let's move you right here, actually. Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of missiles. You guys have all the missiles, apparently. Alright, we got hit just a little bit. And this is why we need to actually get some repairs on it. Okay, so big shots. So you're dead. Go up here. Once again, that, that big laser just does so much work. Alright. Good stuff though. And like I said, okay, that's that's actually a bad guy. Bogey. Approaching. Not for long, though. Okay, so they have a little bit of an eye on there. Oh, we actually laid a mine that sucks. So we got one ping there. But this guy's short work. Just such short work. 
Alright, so we're good. We are so good right now. Let's go to the camp and then see if we can get another mini boss in within a reasonable time frame. So let's see here. We got a mini pulse laser, or light pulse laser, which which would be good. But I'm pretty happy with what I got. We do need some pretty serious repairs, so I'm glad I stopped. Mini bosses are no joke in this game. Absolutely no joke. And I want to buy... Because I don't know when the next closest store will be. I'm going to buy, over buy the fuel here. Alright, so otherwise, EMP mine layer. I want to, I think I could do better with my loadout, but I'll keep that in mind for later on. Let's go ahead and get mine guard and health for you. Alright. I think two EMPs are pretty awesome there. 116. Let's see here, who's getting, who's getting hit hard? You need some more armor, so we've maxed, we've just about maxed you out. And let's see here, we want you to be like that. You have max range, a little bit better handling. Let's get a little more health for you. Alright, so we'll float some scrap once again. I'm just going to sell the pulse laser. Seems reasonable. And let's actually remember where we're going. So 129 or 114. Suddenly things are not as close as they were. All right. So that's not going to be a boss. That's just going to be a location of an underground laboratory. So yeah, we just went through the underpass, overpass there. And look, Torvok vehicles powered on your weapons. You have 15 seconds. Engage them in combat. We see you have an appetite for destruction. Yes. Yes, we do. We have an appetite to use our big, big lasers. All right. So let's just go ahead and uh, start by frying these guys. And I think you all will be good over here. Let's fire on you over here. Just all these things are just dying so fast. Ion weapon issues here. Okay, by the time that laser gets over there, I shouldn't be hitting my guys too badly. I took a little bit of shield damage, which is a little irresponsible. But... Okay, so you're dead before the ship even sank. Right, you're gone. You're gonna be gone. You're about to die. There we go. Move you out of the way here and. There we go, not taking a little extraneous damage is pretty nice. Although my convoy is getting hit pretty hard again. Alright, one more EMP should do it here. Right, and dodge it. There we go. Ballistic computer and some more items. A lot of fuel there. That was a good fuel fight. Alright, so we're just gunning for objectives, I think, at this point. We're at the northwest side of the map. I don't know where the nearest camp is. Oh, we got oh we got one right there. Great. So let's see what's over here. All right, you've arrived at the laboratory. Let's approach the shack, and we can push the intercom. And moments later, crackling a voice emits from the intercom, telling you to come inside. Let's go down the hatch. And he says, "You have recent arrivals wanted the starship. I my name is Marinus Dolphin. What do you want? We want uh, multicellulose infused ethanol. And I'm afraid this backwater planet doesn't have it. So it'll take decades. What are you proposing?" I have a friend called Donnie who's been experimenting with small-scale time travel. He's only been able to travel to the future like everyone's doing all the time, but he claims he's been able to delay the process to take longer. Plainly speaking, it seems like we can use that to make your multicellulose-infused ethanol. Er, don't worry, it sounds complicated, but it's actually quite simple. And But he's been going with the raiders calling themselves the Dan Seals. Go find him, and we'll see about fixing your ethanol very well. So that's actually back to the east, which is okay. <coughs> Oh, sorry for the cough there. There's going to be a little bit more where that came from in just a second. But let's see what this camp has. We have some good, potentially good random events here as well. But I don't know if I want to do that or if I just want to go straight for the sonic screws right now. Because I have a feeling there's not going to be too much more in the way of upgrades here. So let's see here. 44. Actually pretty close. So list of computer. Let's shop. Oh, oh boy. 
Oh boy. Leech drone's really good. EMP drone's really good. EM Lion glare's really good, but a second super heavy laser. I think we all know what is gonna be happening. Right? Right? Let's see if we can farm a little bit more dough. Let's see, investigate the wreck and you find the flyer, the lucky peacock. So we have a side quest. Let's see what's over here. I want to get that second pulse laser. And Raider Outpost. They want to radio us. This is mighty fine looking combo. How are you transport some of our wares for us? What kind of wares? Don't ask damn questions. Very well. And uh, deliver some. You'll get paid all upon delivering the stuff. And then they bomb us and they attack. Of course they're going to bomb us. I should have known. But I don't know if I can get the encounter otherwise, so... It looks like we're going to be lasering up here. It definitely looks like we're going to be lasering up here, so let's see. Got another one down here. Let's just go ahead and uh, get you. Right, that's decent. Oh, wow. Such a, such a big hit. So that's good too. Let's pin you back. Like I said, I just love how much damage I can do with this gigantic laser, so of course I want two of them. Alright. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't that wasn't the best aim shot ever. So you're just you continue to try and run away from this, but you're just not gonna run. You're gonna you're gonna be able to run just a little bit. Let's not fight the tailpipe here. Okay, so you're dead. He's probably gonna die from debris. Let's freeze you. No, let's freeze you because you'll actually stay frozen. Alright. And uh, let's see if we can kill you first. Who has no target? You have no target. Why aren't you firing on this guy? I don't know why that just happened. But apparently moving down there is a thing all of a sudden. Alright, maybe I'll get the money I need from this. That'd be lovely. Uh-oh. Let's not die. There we go. Look at those raiders giving me 69 stuff and a ballistics computer. That's all I need. Well, let's see. How do I put this? We're at about a pretty convenient time to stop, to be perfectly honest here. We got a ballistics computer. We've got a uh, second super heavy laser, which we will equip right now. That is just too funny. There's like no energy requirements. It's just do you have the slot? Two EMPs, two super heavy lasers. I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know if this is good or not, but it's what we're doing. So let's get our repairs in, and we're going to start the next video. Probably fighting a mini boss here. But this is Asher with more Convoy. Once again, fun game. I'm glad you all are sticking around to watch it. I've tried to check out the uh, Convoy subreddit. It's pretty inactive right now. So if you all know any communities where people are talking about this game, share information, by all means share it with me, because I want to I wanna know more. I want to know more. I feel like I'm doing okay, but I always want to know more. But hopefully this is a run that I can cash in and do something good. We got two parts down, two parts to go. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. We will have some big explosions in the next episode. Hopefully they're not on our end. Thanks for watching. Take care.